What's up guys? Welcome to another episode. This is episode number seven. And on this episode, we are going to cover a reference. How you should reference for animation. I will show you how I personally do my planning how I go out if necessary to shoot some reference. So we're gonna go out yet again, right? <laughs> I'm gonna show you like how I edit it together afterwards, how I go into Maya and just before I start animating, just to make sure that you guys know what you guys need to do just before you start really setting your blocking keys and making sure that your work is neat, is clean, and is as effective as possible. So follow me and let's get through yet another episode on tips and tricks. First step that we need to do before you do anything else, you need to think very hard and plan very well what exactly you are going to shoot and how it's going to look in your final shot. You need to make sure that when you take your reference that it looks as close as possible to what your final animation is going to be. You can use props, you can use different angles, you can use editing, whatever magic you want to use, you need to make sure that it kind of blends together very well. And that's exactly what we're going to do next. We're going to plan it out, we're going to draw some stuff, and we're going to think about exactly what we want to accomplish. That is the first step. So, let's do this. Let's think this through and see what we can come up with for this reference shot. What should I do? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a few shots because I think that will be more representative of how far you can take this uh, reference method. So I'm gonna do a few shots, maybe uh, maybe three shots. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go out. There's a park that I know that has normally an empty space that I can do some stuff. So maybe I'm gonna take you guys there. I'm thinking that maybe I'm just gonna do a like simple walk. So let me see, three shots, right? So, so shot number one, somewhere here. And this is gonna be the, the grand finale. Something big is gonna happen maybe. I'm thinking, I'm just going to, like in my mind, maybe I'm in the ramp. I'm actually kind of going down the ramp. And I'm just walking, walking down the street. And I walk that way and I go past the camera. To simplify things, I go past the camera this way. Maybe this angle, I go past the camera here. So I came from there and I'm gonna go down there. So walking, walking, walking. Maybe to jazz it up, maybe a uh, low to the ground shot where I go past here. I'm in the middle here. I'm doing a kick because that's simple enough. And because I'm no Kung Fu master, my kick is gonna be something like this, I guess. Jump and kick. Obviously, this is super simple, but I hope it illustrates the point of how you can take this kind of reference in a simple way. So yeah, going down the, the, the ramp here and then going past the camera to go to the other one. So shot number one, walk for a little bit that way. So I'm actually looking that way and going that way. And, uh, and, then, and then once you get to the place there, I will uh, do a jump and kick and then maybe come out. We'll find out on the day. Okay, so now that we have finished our planning, we have it all planned out, we know what we're gonna do, we need to get out there and make sure that we capture our footage the best we can. So for that, I need to take you guys outside once more. Let's get out there and capture some reference. What up y'all? I hope you can hear me all right. I thought uh, this is a good place to actually record. Uh, loads of space to be outside. The weather today is not good whatsoever, but uh, we'll make the most of it. I'm sure of it. So uh, let's get this started. I'm recording. Uh, catch me, just... Uh... Test, test, test. That's it. That was a bit, uh, a bit crazy, <laughs> but uh, it was good. I hope uh, I had enough light and I managed to catch everything that I needed. Now it's time to go home and uh, edit this stuff. Let's do this. Hey. 
So now we're back. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. I thought it was essential to show you guys because at the end of the day, reference, it's all about getting out there and making sure that you get the best assets for your animation, whatever it takes. Now they've captured our reference of doing the kick and looking all, you acted the fool already, but that's nice. That's no problem because you want your animations to look as good as possible. So now that we actually have all the footage, we're gonna get into the editing and put it together in a way that makes sense. So it's one file and it's all looking nice and cinematic and looking amazing as you want it to look in the end with your animations. That is what we're gonna do next. We're gonna jump into Final Cut Pro and do some editing. Let's do it. Here, here we have like a, a blank project. We're gonna import our videos into our project. So now we have to put it together uh, and edit it all. So it's just one shot. So let's just bring our clips down, uh, all of them to make sure that all is well. So let's cut it just as the I come out of the scene. I don't need all the walk, I just need a few steps. Otherwise it becomes too long and I'm thinking about how much animation do I need to do in order to, to make it uh, sync. But at the same time, I don't want to spend too much time animating if I don't need to. Let's uh, do the continuation shot. So more or less here, this is to make sure that it snaps into place. Um, just around here, I should be able to see myself Continuing the shot, so I can remove all that. And then here, as soon as I pop in the camera, more or less there, I'm gonna put in my my feet. Yeah, that's better. So now we have the kick. So maybe we just need a little bit of the in and almost getting into place and then cut. We need maybe just this because I'm moving, so sense of continuation we need to sell it so here let me just zoom in a little bit um, so here I don't need to show the whole thing in order to sell the idea I just need to sell it I need to just do that and then and then we need to do the same thing for the other side so we're going to start from there maybe so I don't need that as a pause that we need, but maybe not as much as it is at the moment. And kick here to here. I'm going to slow it down just because it's fun. <laughs> it needs to be this whole thing that needs to be slowed down. So slow down 25 and then we're going to do this. Let's see how that looks. And I think I like the jump here, so I'm gonna leave that. But it needs to happen immediate. Start walking while not looking at the camera, because that breaks away the illusion. I think a little bit more. Hopefully that, that's a bit better. Okay, that is our reference done. Now that we have our video reference ready to go in Photoshop, I basically just loaded the video. That's all we have. So now we have one layer with the video. And the first thing that we need to do, we need to have our layers window and then our timeline here. We're going to add a video layer, new blank video layer. After we have it selected here, uh, you can draw on top of this bit here, like so. And 
that is one fret. You can see it here, very tiny. Um, I should also put a layer on top of this. This is like a 2D layer, so it's not a video layer. If you fill the layer with a, with a color, it means that you can put down the opacity a little bit and you can see your main keys over your video. For the sake of this demo, I'm just gonna go into the main bit, which is this bit here, when I actually do the kick. So let's say that I actually want to find out here what are my main poses, the poses that I actually definitely wanna hit. Um, this will be one of my main poses here. I wanna hit that one because that is a change between that and that. If you have any notes that you wanna to add to this, to make sure that, for example, so you can add those, to your poses as you're drawing them in and you'll see them because you have to go through your reference frame by frame you really think about it as you go through it every frame same thing here so this is a, a main pose because I'm anticipating them the the kick and then maybe this is maybe the passing pose the anticipation of the kick just before I let go so this is the anticipation of the kick so I want to highlight it to make sure that I get the pose if we were to do the animation we want to push this kick to make sure that it's about maybe a two frame kick. Get that pose, spine, arms. This arm is to be straight. Maybe the hand is to be straight. This arm is to be doing something like that. The more detail you add to this, the better it's gonna be in your final animations because you're thinking through your animations and you're getting through your main poses, your passing positions, and you can just add notes to it as you go along. So now let's export this. So it's file, export, render video. All our drawings there showing one by one and the stuff that we've done. So now let's go into Maya. Now that we actually got your footage edited, you're ready to take it into Maya. Great, everything is looking fabulous. Went outside, got your stuff edited, amazing. So now for this one step, after many years of trying different things, uh, I got to this one way of doing it that I think works really well and I'd like to share it with you guys. It's using a video player and a plugin and that's all. And uh, I think it works brilliantly and I'll show you exactly how I do it now. So um, for this bit, in order to get our reference into Maya, we're gonna be using a software called Keyframe MP, which it's actually just a video player that is fully packed with lots of features. So I'll show you here the, the website. It's by Chris Zurbrig. This uh, player has been around for a few years now, but it's getting better by the year. Uh, Chris is doing a great, great job. The one thing that I'm gonna talk about here, and the one thing that is really good for reference, it's this thing here that is a free download, which is my to keyframe MP. And the only thing that this is, it's a plugin uh, for the player. So I'll show you here exactly what I mean. Um, you have this module here, and this module is basically what syncs this player with Maya. This is the file that I had, you can see it here, no difference. And we're gonna just drop it here or open it. It has many, many features that I won't go into in here. One of them is you can draw on top of it. Now, I've done it before in previous videos. If you if you wanna have a look at it, just uh, look at my uh, uh, video reviews and analysis. When you actually decide to actually go into sync, it should be green. And if it becomes green, it means that now the player and the Maya timeline should actually sync to each other. So if you scrub here, so you just kind of just uh, scrub the timeline and if you have keys, uh, you can actually kind of go through them uh, with no problem. So let me just uh, open something. Let's say we have a key there, 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 and a key there. Let me just uh, reset it. Again, sometimes it gets the sync, but now that is correct, as you can see, now, when you have many keys like this, it means that as you go through your keys, the port actually updates exactly as you do in your animation. But uh, you can see that like it's pretty straightforward. So let's say we want to do the kick now, and we have been animating for, for quite a while, and uh, we say that our first frame is number 
300 and it's camera 5 so now we will go and slowly go back and forth within our keys make sure that we set our main poses as we showed you before so here is a main pose so I will lift my key here and then I will go in and pose my character exactly as I want it here and I will just go through and do the same thing for every single other pose and that is basically how you get your blocking done the easy way it's pretty simple open the player sync it block your character that's it nothing more to it once you're done or if you actually don't want to see the sync you can desync it and then just use it as a regular player and i'm not being sponsored in any way by chris i'm just doing this because i really believe in the tool and i think he deserves the support so and with that it's a wrap hey. So we got to the end of another video. I hope this helps you a little bit with your reference. This reference taking business sometimes can be complicated. Um, so if this saves you a step or two, then it's a win. I have to take a moment here to tell you guys that I've passed the 500 subscriber milestone and I'm super chuffed about that. Thank you very much, you guys, if you subscribed. If you're not, please subscribe. Please hit the like button as well. And tell a friend to tell a friend that I'm here to stay and I ain't going nowhere. So thank you very much for your viewership. Highly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next Monday, as always. And until next time, stay well, stay safe. Peace.